What does this thing even look like? Something from 2001 A Space Odyssey. If a brutalist architect designed a coffee grinder, you just wanna put it in a museum. If you're into coffee, you know how important your coffee grinder is. There's a new coffee grinder on the scene called the Fellow Ode Grinder. It's very unique, it looks kind of cool, different from most of the coffee grinders you've probably seen before. It should be noted that all of these grinders, they cost between $100 and $300. You might be asking yourself, why on earth would you spend so much on a simple coffee grinder when you could get one of those little Krups ones for like $20? The consistency of your coffee grounds contribute heavily to how good your coffee tastes. When you use a blade grinder, it kind of chops up the beans in all different size particles. And when water flows through those particles, it extracts at different rates and gives a lot of bitter, sometimes harsh, or just unwanted flavors to your coffee. With a high quality burr grinder, you get really consistent grind size, and that's just gonna make your coffee taste great consistently. Let's look at how this thing is built. You have your hopper up here where the beans go in. One thing to keep in mind that this is a single dose coffee grinder. Um, you can't put a whole bag of coffee in this hopper. It's just too small. Close it up, adjust your grind with this giant clicky wheel. And if you look closely, it goes to 11. Like they did it. It goes to 11. These go to 11. Then under here you have a grounds bin, which pops out. It's got this little magnet on the bottom so you can kind of pop it in and out and it holds right in place. What does the Ode coffee grinder do well? Well, the most important thing it does well is create really nice, consistent coffee grounds. The Ode really does match or maybe even exceeds by a little bit the grind quality of these other grinders. The other things that are really nice about this grinder are number one, it's very quiet. Some coffee grinders make like just the most horrendous noise that you don't really want to be hearing at six in the morning when you're brewing your coffee. None of them are super quiet, but this, it's a nice kind of soft purr. The other thing that's great about it is that it's fast. It has large flat burrs as opposed to most of these other grinders which tend to have smaller conical burrs. So it does grind coffee faster. So I did test the speed side by side and grinding 30 grams of coffee at about the same grind size. With the Ode, it took about eight seconds. With the Virtuoso Plus, it took about 30 seconds. Combined with the quiet sound, it, it does have that kind of nice satisfying feel to use. Then what are the flaws of the Ode grinder? Let's start with the grind adjustment. It has a pretty narrow range of grind settings compared to the Barazza grinders. First of all, you cannot do espresso. It absolutely does not do coffee grinding fine enough for espresso where on the very fine end, the Barazzas can get away with that. I found that the absolute finest grind setting on the Ode was just fine enough to brew mocha pot coffee and that should be kind of the texture of granulated sugar. You really have to be brewing drip coffee, pour over, mocha pot, that kind of thing. If, if you want something that's super versatile that can accommodate espresso, you're not gonna wanna go with the Ode. Another flaw of this grinder is that it is a bit messy. No coffee grinder is completely mess free. They all are gonna give you a little bit of leavings on your counter after you use them. The Ode tries to ameliorate this issue by having a grinds bin that has this lip on it so that coffee doesn't spray everywhere when you grind. But the problem is it's kind of fiddly. You still get grinds around here. It is made of metal, so there is a bit of static and that makes little tiny coffee particles stick to the inside. It's a bit difficult to get out. They also included these little wings on each side, which is supposed to make the coffee grounds easier to pour out. It kind of funnels them into the center. But what ends up happening eventually is that coffee gets stuck on the underside of those wings. You gotta clean that out. And the other thing, no matter how thoroughly you grind your coffee, as soon as you tap the top of this, it's gonna leave coffee grounds. It doesn't matter how many times you use the little knocker that it comes with, you're gonna come back to this coffee grinder, you're gonna give it a little tap, and <laughs> there are gonna be grinds that fall out onto the, the grinder surface, onto your counter. What you're gonna find when you're using this grinder is that you do a lot of this. And then when you're trying to get the grinds from your bin, you're gonna do a lot of this. 
So, you know, if you like drumming on your appliances, maybe this is perfect for you, but this might get old fast. Another important factor is reliability. The fact is that Fellow is a fairly new company and this is their first time making a coffee grinder. How reliable is it gonna be in the long term? How high quality is it gonna be? You don't really know, it's a bit of a gamble. And if you go with something like the Baratza, you know that they have great customer support, that they are very repairable, you can buy spare parts, you can swap them out yourself. With the Fellow Ode, you really just don't know what you're getting. As of February 2021, Fellow does offer a limited amount of replacement parts on their site, but not nearly as many as Baratza. The other obvious issue is that the Fellow Ode grinder is more expensive than any of the other grinders we recommend at Wirecutter. When it comes to Baratza, you have the Virtuoso Plus, which is around 270. You have the Encore, which is about 150. And the Fellow Ode grinder is 300 bucks. So what coffee grinder should you go with in the end? If you want the most versatile and straightforward grinder that's gonna be reliable, give you great quality grounds, not that much mess at a reasonable price, we still recommend one of the Baratza grinders, the Virtuoso Plus if you want a timer and a little bit more build quality, but if you want something on more of a budget, the Encore is gonna give you just as good coffee grounds. The Oxo is also a great budget pick if you're looking to save even more money. The Ode is a great grinder, but it does come with its drawbacks. For the best all around, most versatile coffee grinder picks, we're sticking with what we know. If you have questions about the Ode or any coffee grinder, just leave them in the comments below. And while you're at it, why not subscribe?